Hey everybody, this is Sala. Let's continue with the data transfer between the Windows form. In our last two tutorials, we learned the property method and the constructor method to transfer data between the forms. And this time, we are going to learn another method to do the same thing. We will use static variables to transfer data from form 1 to form 2. So let's now have a look at the application we are going to code in this uh, tutorial. We have form 1. Form 1 is going to collect the data and send it to the form 2. And it has three text boxes. So let's provide some data. And now send it to the form 2. Just click on this button. And here you see the data is received by the form 2. It's very simple to implement and won't take too much time. Let's now move on and learn how do we use static variables to transfer data between the forms. In my application, I have two forms, form 1 and form 2. Here you see the form 1. Form 1 is going to collect and send data to the form 2. And here you see the form 2, which contains only labels to display the data. Form 1 has a send button and we are going to program data transfer behind this button. Okay, so we are inside the form 1's class code as you can see here. And the first thing that we are going to do here is establish a connection between form 1 and form 2. A connection simply means when the button is clicked, form 2 is displayed. So form 2 is a class and in order to access form 2 in form 1, we need its instance variable. So this variable is actually is an object, the instance variable of form2. Using this variable, we can simply call the show method on it to display the form2. If I run the program and click on the button, you will see the form2. So let's check it out. Here we have our form1. Let's now click on the button and now you see form2 on the screen. So the connection is established. Let's now go a step further and implement the data transfer. So we are going to transfer data via static variables. What static variables are, we are going to discuss in a couple of minutes. So let's first create three public static variables, one for first name, one for last name, and one for email. So here we have our three static variables and before we display form 2, we are going to initialize our variables with the values from the text boxes. Right, so our variables are initialized with the values of the text boxes. Here on the form, this is our text box 1 text box 2 and the last one is the text box 3. So right after initializing our variables, static variables, we are calling the form 2. Now we are going to talk about static variables. We create static variables using the keyword static and beside variables, you can have static methods, static properties or even you can have static classes. So we are not going to discuss or learn all of them. We will only see how static variables works. Static variables have an advantage and that advantage is they can be accessed outside of the class without creating an instance variable of that class they belong to. In simpler words, we can access these variables outside of the form1 class in another class and that another class is the form2 class. So we can access static variables of form1 class here in the form2 class without creating an instance variable. Here in form1 you can see in order to access the form2 we created an instance variable of form2 but these variables can be accessed directly by their class name. Their class name is form1 right so in our a second form we have three labels to display the result to the first label we will display the first name uh, a static variable of the uh, form 1 class as you can see as you can see we can read the first name variable which is belong to form 1 class inside the form 2 class and to the second label we're gonna read the 
last name variable into the third one so my friends that was all we have coded our application in form one we are reading values from the text boxes and initializing our variables we are displaying the form and when the form 2 is displayed so inside the form 2 constructor we are reading values uh, from the variables uh, belong to form 1 and it became possible because these variables are static variables let's now run the program and check it out provide data to form 1 And now send the data and here you see the form 2 is receiving the data right so my friends that was data transfer between the forms is using static variables but we are not done with this topic there are more to come in the next tutorial we are gonna explore another way to transfer data between the forms i will see you there thanks for watching